all right welcome back to did we just become best friend podcast uh we are on episode 52 and we got yep. a pretty good one for you guys today um yes yes we do we went hard <laughs> on stocks yeah all very that hard stuff. uh we're we're gonna talk about not buying or selling just leaving leave it there hold the line hold the line Let's hold it don't Dude, give where's up the, where's mel i need mel gibson behind me to hold <laughs> they all say that, and they, he does the same thing in Gladiator. <laughs> Beginning of Gladiator. Oh, that, that, wasn't Mel Gibson, that, that was Mel Gibson. That was uh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. No, Mel Gibson does it in um, Braveheart, Braveheart too. Yeah. Uh, hold. Yeah, just yeah. hold it, guys. Don't sell. Wait until it gives like a billion dollars. Then you know maybe yeah. probably well, yeah. well, at that point. <laughs> we talk about that a lot. Which is uh, kind of the biggest, the biggest news, big, big. I mean, it's, 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 it's. They're called stonks, 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 because it's a meme. So it's not oh. stocks, it's stonks. Yeah, you because know, everything needs to be fucking memeified. Um, <laughs> so it's game stonks. Game stonks. Yeah. Well, so you see that a lot. Well, so, I, yeah, I we, guess that's okay for for now. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Everything's always. I mean, it started with a meme, and now we're here. I mean, uh, Drake needs to make that. Started from the um, bottom. The <laughs> started as a meme, and now we bankrupted <laughs> hedge <Yes>. funds. <laughs> Which is awesome. Great. But you got to hold. You'll see. I, I um, say if you have enough, fail. Yeah. Because you got a family to think about. Yeah. Well, we talk about that. We talk about that. I don't want to get too much into it right now because we get yeah. a lot into it. Um, we also talk about WandaVision a little bit. Yes, we do. Which is yes, uh, pretty good. Um we can talk about everyone's opinions on it because there are opinions from good to bad and everything in between and we kind of discuss a little Just bit remember, about that opinions are like buttholes they might be clean you can test it for covid <laughs> and you can test it for covid that's right so um, everybody has one yeah, and then uh, then we talk a little bit about the HBO shows and oh, King Kong. We go kind of <laughs> we go pretty hard with King Kong and Godzilla yeah. with uh, a bunch of all the funny stuff and yeah, and, and our ideas of what we think is going to happen in the movie, which is pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, but we got a few thank yous. Let's see if that shows up. There we go, Robert. Thanks, Robert, for following us on Facebook. Yes, Appreciate sir. that. Thank you very much, man. And we also Appreciate got, it. uh, they're going to pop up. There we go. Yeah. Stanley Stevens. We're following us on Facebook. Appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you, Stanley. And we got Mark. Is that going to show up? There we go. Yeah. Mark <laughs> for following us on Facebook as well. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for supporting us on Facebook. Um, so before we get into the podcast, don't forget to hit those sub buttons and like buttons on Twitch and on YouTube. We go live sometime during the week. <laughs> um, try to, we're going to try. We try to say it Thursdays, but life happens. Um, um, but yeah, My just life. follow us. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, follow us on Did We Just Become Best Friend Podcast or DWJBBF Podcast. Call us 312-834-7048. You can call or text. And uh, don't forget those nice reviews on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and we're on Spotify and all those places you can listen to our beautiful voices. <laughs> so, without yes. any more delays, let's get into episode 52 of let's Do We do Just this. Become Best Friend Podcast. Let's do this. Stocks. Stonks. <laughs> So yeah, so like you, I know, yeah, because I remember you were telling me and Armando that you had Robin Hood, you know, which was like a good app. People like were really liking it. Yeah. You know, because it's made for like um, the normal person, the everyday person, somebody who's not like a whiz and didn't go to the school for it. You know, right. you're like, oh, cool. You know, it's like, you know, you know, yeah. but now <clears throat> everything's really coming out and you're like, Oh, they were just mining your data. They wanted to see your stock trends to use it against you later. Yeah, you know, which is one thing. And yeah. So what's the whole thing about it now? Because I was seeing they didn't show up for GameStop. Wasn't up there. 
Um, and then there were some other ones. I think yeah. Blackberry was Blackberry, one. AMC. AMC and GameStop were the biggest ones. That, that it was blocked, like nobody could buy that? No one could buy it, but you can sell it. Hmm. You can sell it, but you couldn't buy it. Um, which pissed off. If, if people like Ted Cruz, AOC, <clears throat> Ben Shapiro, um, Rashida Tlaib, which is, you know, you're talking about like, you know, the left of the left and the right of the right, like all agree on one thing. Yeah. It's like the world's fucking ending, you know? Even <laughs> I put that, I was like, because like AOC tweeted something and Ted Cruz retweet, retweeted him and it's like, Say, I totally I, agree with this. Right. And I was like, what? What the fuck is 2021? Because Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not crazy about that guy. Oh, no, he's a piece of shit. Even, well, yeah. she, she wind up coming back. She goes, I'm willing to work with anybody. I'm glad other, the people on the other side of the aisle, you know, see the issue too. He goes, I'm willing to work with anybody except for you, Ted Cruz. You want me dead. You literally ask for people to kill me. You can fuck off and resign. Well, she didn't say fuck off. She's like, you can go, um, you want to help, you need to resign or something like that. So it's like, wow. nice. You should have, you should have put that on. <laughs> on uh facebook i know uh, tweet that but, but yeah i mean <clears throat> i so all right so basically i've been working my ass off all week so i don't even pay attention to the news really and uh <clears throat> it just so happened um just his sister uh sent me a picture mm-hmm. it was a video from reddit so i downloaded reddit saw the video aha it was funny then I'm like, well, what? Is, I I've heard of it. I just don't know much about it. What video was it? Uh, it's Android versus iPhone. Oh, so oh, it, it had no, the, it had nothing to do with the no, market thing. Oh, okay. nothing. But I had to download the app to see the video. So I did. So there's Reddit. I'm like, well, let me take a look at it. I've heard of it. So one of the few things I saw was GameStop, 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 mm-hmm. Private Hood, Private Hood, Private Hood. Yeah. Then uh, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Then more I read into it, it said that people couldn't buy GameStop, yeah. GameStop stock, or then there was other ones. But, you know, they had screenshots and whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? So the thing was today or yesterday. Someone wrote, it's a beautiful place where a bunch of 17-year-olds on Reddit crashed the market or forces the market to open uh, a piece of stock for everyone to buy. So that is a great feeling of unity. So it was something, that's when I started clicking. I'm like, okay, this is a more serious thing than I actually thought it was. So... And then and after that, you know, like I said, I just went out with my life and I'm like, yes, I have Robin Hood. Yes, I have stock. But no, I do not have GameStop. Because I saw the price. It was like 400 and something per share. <laughs> now. I'm like. <laughs> not a few yeah. months ago. No. No. So. So the I'm whole like, story okay. started in in October, roughly October, about about six months ago. So <clears throat> yeah, maybe a little bit before October. But October was when people kind of started buying the stock. And six months ago, it was like two or four dollars um, a share. All right. Two or four dollars. And the <clears throat> this uh, Reddit person, not Reddit person, a, a, a subreddit called like Wall Street Bets is the, is the one that started it. Uh-huh. And it's this guy. Now he's, <clears throat> he's huge. It's like a little avatar that kind of looks like a Richie Rich character with the blonde hair with sunglasses. Right. Um, and he kind of gives advice, but he's like a troll kind of at the same time. And he, they saw all these people, because all these people saw it on there. They're like, hey, these hedge fund companies are short selling GameStop stock, uh, GME. That's what it's the, the title of it, GME. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, what's up, Martin? And uh, so they saw that and they're like, oh, shit. You know, so basically a short sale. I don't know, have you ever seen the... Um, Big Short with like <clears throat> Steve Carell, um, Brad Pitt, Ryan Gosling. I, believe, I think I did. I think um, I did. Yeah. It was kind of like off of the home, um, the house market bubble, you know, and like it was kind of like that, but it's the same idea. It's the, it's the short sells. So mm-hmm. basically, it's when a hedge fund gets um, a cheap 
or get a fairly cheap stock borrows it they don't buy it they borrow it right from the bank Reese and then and then borrow it at, at one cost right so at say a hundred dollars say 20 bucks borrow right. it at 20 bucks drive the stock down to say a dollar and then sell it back and then get all that profit plus you know the fee that they have to pay for borrowing it mm -hmm. so basically a short sale is they buy it and it needs to tank so they can get money right so what this guys did they're like oh shit gamestop is 80 i think it was 84 percent shorted on it right that means these all these head funds took 84 percent. i think it was 84 i could be wrong um but it was a lot more than half well more than half and they're like oh shit when gamestop fails which is gonna inevitably be fail because it's just a dying company all right. these billionaires are gonna get even more money because they bought our stock for two dollars and they're gonna sell it back to me for a dollar without me knowing because it's through the bank you just give your money to the bank you know the traders and the traders do everything for you you know so you're like hey I, you know so what they did was like we can counter that and it's called a short squeeze so the opposite is if it goes down they get money if it goes up everyone who bought that stock will get money so that four dollar you know that you bought it for you you know now it sells for four hundred dollars you know that's crazy i think it was a 1700 percent increase 1700 1700 0, 1700 <clears throat> percent which is it's bonkers it's bonkers um so and that's basically what happened was all these people on reddit got together and they're like let's fuck over because now because now if what happens is the they borrowed all that on it and they get money if it fails but they have to pay a lot of money if it if it goes the other way so it's a it's a gamble on their end you know what i mean i see yeah so there's so if the stock went up they have to pay the difference they have to pay the difference because they borrowed it at this price right but now since it went down you know they get the profit for all that but since it goes up they have to pay the difference and that's basically what happened is okay. there's the one biggest company um oh, what was it um melvin capital that's the biggest company or is it citadel i forgot they lost about 17 billion dollars because of this wow 17 I, billion dollars i think it was citadel because i i read yeah. I, you said that name I, I believe that's what i read <clears throat> well citadel is the biggest I, citadel is the biggest client that Robinhood has and citadel lent a billions of dollars to Melvin Capital and Melvin Capital lost all that money because of of the Reddit subgroup but now here's even the, the kicker part is all these these normal people bought bought this and did what they did to raise up the thing mm -hmm. they're not getting like crazy amount of money some of them are you know I think one person I read got about 63,000 you know and he only initially put in like 100 bucks or 97 bucks or something Mm -hmm. That's a really good return. You know, a few other. There's a kid, I think, an 11 year old, who was gifted uh, two stocks, you know, nice. GameStop years ago. You know, and he cashed it in for like, yeah, you know, I think 500 bucks. <laughs> you know, so so it's it's hundreds to a couple thousand dollars for the normal people for us. Right. You know, but if the, the hedge funds win, that's millions and billions of dollars because they're putting more into it. Right. You know, so same thing with the the guy Chewy, the guy who owns Chewy. You know that mm -hmm. uh, pet box. Yeah. He uh, he invested like seventeen million dollars in GameStop to try to revamp it into like a a esport thing. Yeah. I don't know if you remember we talked about it like last year. You yeah, know? I remember that. Yeah. So his seventeen million dollars turned into two hundred and fifty million dollars. You know, so I mean that's like the difference is you know right. So, you know, for us normal people and everyone on that Reddit, you know, they got a couple thousand, couple hundred, but it's costing them millions and billions of dollars, which is crazy. And who's them? The hedge funds, you know, Citadel, funds? Melvin Capital. I mean, Melvin, I think Melvin Capital or was it, they did so bad that they lost like 15% of their company. Like they're going to like bankrupt and lose their company. The other hedge fund companies had to step in and give them almost $3 billion just to stay alive, which is fucked up. It was like, 
you're a billion dollar company that fuck over people and then now you're fucked up and now you're asking other billion dollars to help you out because you know at the end you're all helping each other out anyway but yet the poor people can't help each other out because now they're they're literally crying there's the guy on on cnbc who was i'm not even joking it was fake crying but he was crying and like was saying like he goes oh they're just attacking the rich and they're like you know they, oh my god yeah, dude I'm not even joking dude I'm not even joking he's like they're attacking the rich he goes he goes all these all these little uh, these little people are doing is they get their six hundred dollars from the government and then they put it in the market and then they screwing over all these rich people and I'm like and he basically said he goes like he was saying like normal people shouldn't trade stocks because they don't know what they're doing I was like. What are you talking about? They knew exactly what they're doing. They're trying to screw you over. And that's what they did. But this is the same guy who's got multiple fraud lawsuits going from the Attack- SEC. Attacking wealthy people? Yeah. yeah. Um, angry hedge fund billionaire Leon Cooperman yep. Yep. is mad at GameStop Redditors for attacking wealthy people. Yep. Is that a bad thing? I mean, I mean, okay, so you're not attacking that. wealthy people. It's like you're <laughs> gambling and I'm calling your bet. I mean, that's all it is. That's right. all it is. Like you've been playing this game and now other people are figuring out the rules and they're playing the game and they're beating you at the game that you made up and you made the rules. But now that you're losing, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not fair. This is not supposed to happen. <laughs> Somebody said it the best way. It was like, imagine you because know, we got the Super Bowl coming up. Um, Tom Brady and and Patrick Mahomes. Right. And Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady's winning, winning, winning for you know three quarters, and Patrick Mahomes comes back and is doing this crazy comeback, and he's he's almost gonna win. And then two minutes left, the the refs like, hold on, hold on, listen. We're going to play the last two minutes, but you guys can't touch the ball at all. And you can't have anybody on the field. And then he can only touch the ball and he can do whatever he wants. It's like, you can't change the rules now, you know, but because they're rich and they they have connections with the powerful people, the rules are going to get changed. Right. I don't, I don't think it's worth changing the rules. I, I think it's more of um, shit. They're onto us kind of thing. Like they know what to do now. Well, they, they've been meaning, onto them. <clears throat> like, you know, people like us. You know, and it's it's more of um. I, I think just their plan just backfired. Like I guess they wanted to buy another yacht or two. I'm not sure, but it's it's nuts how when the tables are turned. You know, with us all, oh, well, we study, go to school, blah blah blah, white privilege, well, yeah, you're whatever. But when the tables are turned, it's like, wait, no, you're not supposed to do. I, this is not you're not supposed to do that to me. Yeah. Because I have more money in, in my pocket than you, I you know than you do. It's not supposed to happen to me. Yeah, you're like whoa, so. Whoa. Yeah, so I. It's ridiculous how shit is. It's ridiculous how everything is, and it's it's just somewhat disgusting, man. Coalition mofos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's. I, it's how you do, Martin? The thing is, like, <laughs> we know we know what they've been doing. It's just. You can't beat them. You can't beat them unless you band together. And now the internet, you know, basically the internet, you know, subreddit, which is the subreddit is full. I love subreddit because it's full of fucking trolls. And I love, and the the thing that really pissed me off is I w- I'm in that, in that group. I'm in that group and I, I wind up uh, um, muting all notifications for subreddit because I was getting so much shit. And I'm kicking myself in the ass. I was like, fuck, you tell me I could have had like $67,000 if I would not have like turned off the, the messaging. <laughs> but, um, oh, geez, Kramer. But yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. It's not because people have been calling for regulations for Wall Street and all these hedge funds for years, for, for, do- for do- like a couple dozen years at this point, you know, yeah. like since like the early 90s when people started getting fucked over. And they started realizing it. Yeah. But we had nothing. We couldn't do anything. You know, it was like, fuck, you know, there's not enough power in the little people because they're, they, they got the money and they put the money in the pockets with the people with power. Right. You know, so now things are changing. So now for, for dozens of years or for decades, 
you had these people like, oh, well, you can't regulate this. It needs to be free and open. It needs to be free and open. So now they get fucked over. One time you get fucked over. And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. We need, we need rules and regulations. We need the SEC to step in. You yeah. know, and then that was when Robin Hood came in because Robin Hood is biggest client got fucked over by this. So they blocked buying the stock. So, yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> so, and if you can't buy, that means that stock is, isn't going to go up. Because the only way the stock goes up is by buying it because, the, you know, the demand's higher. So the price of it's going to go higher. So that's why yesterday the price went pretty low. It was it closed at 193. It maxed Ooh. out. It maxed out at 483. But remember, you couldn't buy from Robinhood, which and a few other ones too. Right? It wasn't just Robin. They're just the guinea pig because they're the the biggest one. Um, because they're big on YouTube. If you watch YouTube before this, yeah. you always hear like, "Oh, and this is presented by Robinhood," and they do a whole mm-hmm. spiel on how great Robinhood is. You know. So, but today it opened up like at almost four hundred, and and it closed today at three twenty five. Because people were able to buy buy again, even though today Robinhood only limited limited buying, so you can buy a bunch. You could buy just a little bit. So it's kind of crazy. I I wind up getting a, f- a couple stocks in AMC yesterday because AMC was eight bucks. So, so they, are they planning to do the same thing with AMC, BlackBerry, and who was the other one? Uh, Nokia. Nokia. Um. That Doge <clears throat> Dogecoin is really big right now. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are, a lot of people are, uh, but Dogecoin is like penny stocks that people are getting good money on. Like yeah. it, it, if it hits a dollar, like the fucking world will basically end, <laughs> you know, because people will get so much money um, from it. But Do- it's like dog e coin. That's what that's how it. But it's Dogecoin. Um, but yeah, but AMC. So the, the whole thing is this week, yesterday, over the past couple of days, is when these short sales, they, there's an open when they first borrow it, but then there's a close date. That means you need to pay by this day. That day was the other day. So that's why it was such a big deal because all these people lost money because they had to close on these short sales that they bought. You know, So they were planning on getting a big payday, but it went the opposite. So... The big thing on Twitter and on Reddit is hold the line. That's what they're saying now is don't sell AMC. Don't sell GameStop. We're going to keep making this bitch rise because they can't stop us. And theoretically, they can't, you know? Right. You know, they're not doing anything <clears throat> illegal. They're manipulating the market, but that's because the market is able to be manipulated because it's free and open. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm looking at AMC right now. They... It closed at $13, 13 which is awesome. Yeah, th- 1345 yeah. I bought it yesterday it, at, at 8 bucks. Yeah, I was about to say. It went up $4.63. But, um, so, AMC, their short sales close next week. So, unless something happens over the weekend and early next week, which could happen, right? you might see AMC go from, like, $13 to $200 to $300. All right, so what I'm going to do is right now, as we speak, is sell my stock, whatever I have. I have GoPro. That keeps going up and down. Right now, it's at $9. Keep certain, keep certain ones. Dude, I would I would get rid of Robinhood. I would transfer it to uh, Fidelity or something. Fidelity yeah. is a, a... I don't like them because they're really big, but... but And then the thing is, too, I didn't know was these people... So they were buying these stocks in October, slowly building up, Right. And this four dollar mm-hmm. was becoming twenty dollar, becoming sixty dollar, becoming a hundred dollars, and it was slowly getting up. And what they were doing too was this person on Reddit was buy these stocks, but also tell your broker not to borrow these stocks, which I didn't know was even a thing. So you have to tell them like, hey, whatever I'm buying, don't borrow to anybody. So you have to specifically tell them don't let anybody borrow so they can short sell it. Right. So they were kind of also holding. The people who had already got it kind of screwed, you know, because then you can you could buy the stock higher and get a bigger profit and stuff like that. So basically, they get bought low, <clears throat> and then and then if they buy down here and it goes all the way up, then that's a big difference. Rather than they buy up here, they can kind of make goes, up for it a little bit. Right. Right. So so since they bought it at two dollars and now it's at three three fifty, that's a big difference, you know. 
That's crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm still kind of like learning. Me and Omar were te- texting back and forth. He's like, he's, well, he said um, he was on Robin Hood, not yesterday, the day before when things were really, really kind of going crazy. Was, uh, was it Thursday? Wednesday night was when the things were kind of like, like, oh shit, yeah. this shit's going to hit the fan. Yeah. And, uh, he had, he said he put two hundred dollars in uh, in uh, AMC, and the next morning he they refunded him. Really? Th- Thursday, Thursday. He said they refunded him. They're like, "Oh, you can't buy stocks right now. Here's your money back." I was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> "Motherfuckers!" And I told him, "Like, dude, go to Fidelity, because I know we all have a Fidelity account because of Lightology. Yeah. Well, if you had paid into the four hundred one k, which I think most of us did." Yeah, we all did before they you know, they screwed us over on it. Yeah, um, I mean, I got fed a little bit with where I'm working at now. Oh yeah, there you go, dude. And so you can open a brokerage account <sighs> with Fidelity, like a sep- another account in in the main account. Yeah, and and then you can transfer your shit over from. You would have to link it to Robinhood and then transfer everything over from Robinhood. <clears throat> so. Yeah, uh, I mean, all it's, this rich it's stuff. bonkers, dude. It's bonkers. Like BlackBerry, it opened up at seventeen dollars and it closed at fourteen. But BlackBerry is kind of a one. It's probably not gonna do. Eh. Nokia is gonna be another kind of decent one. But no, I bought two Nokia stocks because they're like five bucks mm-hmm. or four four bucks. I bought them yesterday at four sixty nine, and they dropped down in price a little bit, but. But it's gonna be interesting, man. AMC, AMC is gonna be one. American Airlines is another one. You know, it was basically American any. Airlines. Yeah, it was another one that people are doing that too. It's basically any, any company that is doing bad, like Nokia is kind of falling off, BlackBerry, like, pfft, you know, American Airlines. I mean, that you know, they they hit hard this year. AMC is usually really good stock, but. 2020 with the, fucked it up <clears throat> with the pandemic yeah yeah you know um but honestly so, this could save amc it's not going to save gamestop gamestop is going to close down eventually and they're going to be done <laughs> yeah so the stock has nothing to do with the actual store itself which is crazy you know so you're kind of like the stock can go up but the store is still going to close down so basically you're just fucking playing make make believe at this point nothing is real and you're just playing with imaginary numbers that's the crazy part of all this you know like it's all imaginary numbers until you cash out you know it's it's it's, i don't know what to say man because it's disgusting how this shit's set up the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor because the poor don't have doesn't know anything about it and it's really sad that, you know, you can't get ahead of life unless you work your ass off. And then when you do, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, if there was a way, like someone out there, I guess this guy in Reddit, you know, he's just trolling, helping people out or whatever. He did his due diligence. He, he came out and he's like, look, everybody. This is what we got to do, you know? Yeah. And he did it. So he's more of, you know, like a Robin Hood. A you know, Robin Hood, stole, yeah. Yeah. So he stole from the rich and gave it to the poor. <clears throat> and, um, holy shit. What happened? I was looking. <laughs> so I joined the group. There was a little bit less than uh, 2 million people in this group. And this was like last year. Uh-huh. Um, there's 6.5 million people in this group now. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> oh man. But he's but his his thing is like so. this is his uh the profile. It says like 4chan found a blue uh Bloomberg terminal. So 4chan is like where you get like the worst of the worst fucking trolly shit ever. That's like the QAnon for like nerds kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, 4chan is like it it's it's bad. You know, like if you ever hear your daughter talking about she heard it on 4chan or 8chan, you need to cut her off of all electronics. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, like, nope, you're done. You're going black out for like a, a month. Like, that's enough internet for you for today. Didn't Trump mention that? 
He said something four chan or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he is because QAnon kind of started from four chan, but as a joke, and then people start taking it serious, and it kind of just. Yeah. Yeah. But um. But yeah, yeah no, it's, man. It's 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 like you said. It's it, it's just sad, you know. I mean, I when I worked the ADP, I did stocks. And I was very blessed to have someone like, hey, Fredo, do this and do that. And just put it there, leave it there, don't touch it. You know, I remember putting it $200. By the time I was done, shit, I got like four grand. You know, so I'm like, that's, that's awesome. That's, it's a fucking good return. And uh, he told me which ones that always make money and ones that, you know, you can make a lot more money, but you can lose all of it. So he's like, just put it in there and leave it alone. Um, GameStop equals Blockbuster Games. That's what Martin yeah, said. More, yeah. Now, do you remember Gamefly? Yeah, it's still around. Is it really? Mm-hmm. I saw a commercial today, actually, when I was doing oh, the wow. dishes. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Gamefly. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's like the Netflix of you games. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, I mean... Um, the thing is, like, what, like, what was so many people are like, 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 oh, you, like, everyone doesn't deserve free college, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, like, do you understand if everyone becomes smarter by going to college and learning more things and becoming more educated, learning about each other and stuff like this, then we won't be fucked over by these rich people so much. You know what I mean? Because of, of Reddit, because a group of, people decided to come together and talk about the same thing and some of them happen to be pretty well literate with with stocks even if they're trying to joke around and stuff like that that they could literally change the world you know what i mean it's a that's, that's the thing it's like it's like communication and education can change the world because yeah. it can it gives it gives a voice and a and a, a reason like a reasonable voice to the lower class you know or the middle class at this point you know where we didn't have before so that's why a lot of people are like oh you know school school shouldn't be free i was like why not <laughs> like because you didn't mm-hmm. have it you know that's like a, a thing i was here by you know the boomers well I, you know, I, I i didn't need college i was like yeah but college was also dude since the since the since the 70s i think college tuition has increased over a thousand percent yeah a thousand percent that's incredible that's crazy dude you're yeah. talking about like so like when you know you know my grandfather was young he can go to college for a couple hundred dollars but now 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 it's a couple hundred thousand you know like a yeah. hundred thousand it's insane you know so it's, it's it's ridiculous i was like no two-year college and two-year trade school should be free you know i know it's a little political <clears> and shit <throat> like that but it should be it should be you know? Yeah, um, I know somebody who went to school and <laughs> his bill is like four hundred thirty thousand. Yeah, four thirty. Yeah, you know, and that is that's a home, that's a house, yeah. a big house with a large fence. I mean, a large yard with a fence and a dog, maybe two dogs. <laughs> I don't know, but that is a lot of money yeah. for college, and it only works. If you get out of college and stick to what you learned, the majority of the time, people go to college for a certain subject, topic, or something. Drink my buckets. <laughs> Martin's like, I hate college dream. It does, man. And and he's military. And mil- military, like a lot of the people I worked with at, at uh, on the ambulance company were military, and they're trying to go to paramedic school, and they were saying how fucking hard it was to get the VA uh, student loan thingy. I'm like, yeah. that's insane. That should be just like, hey, I want to go to school. Oh, cool. We'll pay for it. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck? It's and, not even it anymore. Yeah. And it's even paramedic school isn't that expensive. A couple thousand dollars. Literally like $2,000. That's sick. But yeah, but, but you're saying that your friend, that's a, that's a lot of money. But I know people who do that, who have hundreds of thousands of dollars, they stay in school for the rest of their life. Because then they're able to push off the loan 
keep pushing it off. I'm going to go for a master's. I'm going to go for another master's. I'm going to go for a doctorate. I'm going to go for two doctorates, you know? And by the time they're fucking 80, they have all these degrees and a bazillion uh, dollars in money. <laughs> but what are you going to do? It's like, fuck off. I'm going to die yeah. soon. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> That's what people do. Bury me upside down so you can kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's like, you keep giving me money, you know, and I can postpone it. Every time you give me money, I'm going to fucking do that. You know, I mean, hopefully, I don't know if that's what your friend did or not, but that's what a lot of people I, I see do. No, you know? I, that, that, that's, that was my point. A lot of people go to college to study or <laughs> a certain subject, and they leave college, and it's not the job that they wanted. It's not the, the career that they wanted. I'm not a job, a career. But they end up getting a job, something totally opposite or something different from what they went to school for. Yeah. So all that money you went to school for is for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you know things about it, but yet you're working in the, you know, fucking. But it's also the the market too. It's it's right. It's like uh, <clears throat> like Erica, you know, she did libra uh, librarian school. You know, she didn't want to do it, but she's like, fuck it, I got all this experience, might as well do this extra, you know, year and a half of. And you have to have a master's degree to be a librarian. Fucking ridiculous. Um, <laughs> the Dewey Decimal System is a bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish that was the, the bitchiest part. Um, but but the thing is, like in Illinois, they're like these companies realize, and a lot of these like public companies, you know, like you know, community college, like CCC, you know, um, like Wright College and all that. And other places, right. like, oh, we only need two full time librarians to be considered whatever certificate they need or whatever, you know? So they'll hire the two full-time librarians and then 12 fucking part-time librarians because you only work 20 hours a week. I don't have to, I don't have to pay for your benefits. You don't have any insurance. You don't need any 401k because you're part-time. So now it's like where I think um, at CCC, um, at CCC, they were at one point, I think Erica said in the 80s or 90s, they were 80% full-time and 20% part-time. Now it's the opposite. Yeah. They're 80% part-time and 20% full-time because then they learn how to rig the system. Yep. You know, so it's like her, her trying to find a job right now as a librarian is really, really hard because there's no full-time jobs. No. You know? Oh, and then that sucks. And then yeah. It's ridiculous. And they should have something where... Like, yeah, you, what, why, why you have one full-time and eight part-time? Why don't you put four and four? You know, give it a, give it a chance. Give it a, you know, fighting chance. Then, There's no point. Like, why can I hire one person and have to pay all this shit when I can hire two people to do the same amount of work and not have to pay for all the extra shit that they, they do? No pension, right. no ted, tender, or tender, um, like it's called. Um, when people are... You've been on Tinder lately? Yeah, right. <laughs> Not Tinder. Looking, no, looking Tinder. for librarians, favor? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, I can't think um, the damn word. But yeah, like, you know, they're, you know, benefits, insurance, all that shit. It's, it's gotten really fucking disgusting, you know? So Martin says he'd rather blow my money on bitches and booze, but no society. Uh, needs a piece of paper to say I'm worth it. He's right. <laughs> no. He's right. No. So... My title is production maintenance engineer. Mm -hmm. Sounds fancy. All I do is fucking build tables, fix things, and all that stuff. Fairly easy. It's difficult at times. Don't get me wrong. And I have to bust my ass. But shit, it's awesome. You know? um, and it's basically the luck of the draw. Justice's brother makes like six figures. Mm -hmm. He didn't go to college. You know? He... Went in for an interview that his friend hooked him up with at the company that he was at. Got the interview, got the job, and he's worked there. He's been there for going to be six years now. After three years, after two or three years, he ended up making it, doing well, making six figures. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, he got lucky. And that's you need to know somebody from the inside because if he was an average Joe and applying for that job, no college we're not going to even take a bother. Yeah. But it's the little guy that people always, always overestimate, overlook. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, look at like, uh, like a lot like sports radio. 
So take away the athletes, the former athletes, right? Because they're the color commentator kind of people, you mm-hmm. know, you know. So and they they're the name, you know. Take away those guys. Everyone else went to school, put in all this time and stuff like that. And there's so still so many that it, that will never make it in the big. They're just gonna stay in their local city and talk about whatever, you know. Right. You know, but it's like you had to go to school for it, you know, and you had to do this. Granted, it's not that expensive depending on how, what you do and stuff like that. Um, Cause there's like the Illinois Institute of uh, Communications, whatever. The one you always mm-hmm. hear on like ESPN radio and, and yeah. the drive and shit. And, uh, and it's over here by my house. And I looked into it cause I was, I want to kind of do some classes. I think to get like a full degree and everything, it's about like 15,000. Huh. Oh wow. Too bad, you know, compared to like, you know, other shit, but, but also it was like, you just get a certificate. You don't really get anything, you know. But you're like, hey, here's a piece of paper that you know what you're doing. Now go find a job and get paid and and get become an intern. So don't even get paid here. Like you spend fifteen thousand dollars to go start as an intern. Oh yeah, they don't pay interns, but that's where you need to start to maybe one day make it up. Mike, remember Mike from uh, Lightology? He had uh, he had passed that's away. Right. He had passed yeah, away. Yeah, he had yeah, yeah. Cancer. He did. He, he worked he at a, a radio station. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was at a radio station, and I remember I remember, I remember him telling me the shit stories. You know, he's yeah. like, "Yeah, he goes, I went to school for this, and I did this, and look at me now." <laughs> I was like, "Damn, dude," <laughs> you know. And he was a, he was a smart guy. It was just it's just it's like almost like you said. It's like who do you know at that point? You know, mm-hmm. which is it's kind of a shitty thing. But a lot of these other jobs too. It's like like. I can't just become a nurse without like going to school, taking the exam, taking another exam, doing all this other shit, you know? So it's kind of like, <sighs> I don't know. Like, I feel like nursing shouldn't be a degree. It should be like a trade because I feel it should be, but you know, but then it's money, you know, Com- companies yeah. can charge, can get more government money because they have more college graduate people. And that's one thing that they want is like, yo, you need to have a master's degree to work here, but we're only going to pay you $10 an hour. You know, but by you, by them only hiring master degree people, they're able to say they're whatever fucking cert- certified to get more money, tax write offs and shit from the government. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, you don't want it. I don't think, I don't think that should be a trade. Just sitting, you're dealing with people's lives. You know. I I mean, like welder, you know, fucking craftsman. You know, that. Let me put it this way. There's not one nurse that I've known, heard on TV, YouTube, and everything. Not one nurse that said, "Oh, what I learned in school was valuable," because they're like, <laughs> you, "What you learn in school is to pass the test, and then one, then you learn how to save lives when you work." Right. So I mean, same that's what a trade poli- is. So, so, you practice the skill to be same better. Thing at as it. for police, you need to have two years. Or, yeah, or 60 something. hours. Yeah, of college. Or credits. 60, yeah. It was something like that. And then, then you, you, you're you qualified for the academy. Mm. And only that. Yeah. So, once again, you're dealing with people's lives. And yeah, I, I can see that. But the squeaky wheel gets the oil. If maybe you qualify with a degree, could you be persistent to get the job? <sighs> yes and no because you can be persistent but then everyone else with that same degree is also going to be persistent for that one job that 10 people are trying to get mm-hmm. you know i mean that's what i, I feel like is the problem like you like you're like the squeaky wheel gets the oil what if the whole damn chair is squeaky <laughs> you know <laughs> you know they're they're only going to put the the cushion on on the on the seat where you put your ass you know <laughs> to make sure it's comfy gotta that's outdo them i don't, I don't want to I mean, get off topic but that's yeah. exactly what they do so with furniture if you ever see furniture and this is genuine leather <laughs> it's correct anything your body touches is actual leather but the sides the back part is faux leather mm. so faux leather is just a plastic imitation yeah. leather yeah but anything your body touches the armrest or head the back that's genuine yeah so whenever you see something like that, you just know it's not 100%. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I get what he's saying. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just it's it's a, a conversation, but I feel like everyone just this this dismisses it because of the other side. Like no, and then people, everyone who says no, then everyone who says yes is like no, fuck off, and then the other way around, it's just like, ugh, <laughs> you know, it's like like can you just have a conversation and figure out what's the best to do, you know? Mm-hmm. But but yeah, but I don't know. With cops, I feel it's a little different because like you getting sixty hours in fucking art shouldn't qualify you to be able to go be a cop <laughs> what like i can't go and do get a bachelor's degree in fucking theater and then take my nursing exam that's stupid that's not how the fucking world <laughs> is supposed to work but to go into the cop is like you need 60 hours oh, or, or, or the mi- military <laughs> you know i was like oh my god but i mean that's, that's a whole other like thing that. yeah that's a whole nother thing um but yeah so I'm, I'm looking at the memes right now in uh on this wall street thing because that's where we started off with this was uh (laughs) there's a meme that it's the bart simpson and the homer where it says uh he goes we lost seven billion dollars and it says hedge funds and then homer comes down but it's the guy's face he goes you lost seven billion so far (laughs) (laughs) he he wants to take him to the ringers bro to the ringers the hedge fund guy no, the this uh, the Reddit people, they're like, we're gonna. If they fuck should. Them. He goes, he goes. These rich people, they want to play the game, then let's play the game. You know, that's how that's how it, it should be. Uh, they should. Is it? Oh, so what you're saying is you gotta suck, blink, blink, to get on top. <laughs> Even then, <laughs> didn't do much for uh, Monica Lewinsky. So <laughs> she had a book. I believe she even did porn. Did you? Christ. I, I, don't, I, it's okay, guys. I'll research <laughs> go, it. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, but man, yeah, these Redditors, they're, they, they're saying they want to get GameStop to 1,000, which, I mean, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. Uh, well, look how far I got. I know. Almost halfway there. Yeah. We got to 483, I think it was the highest yesterday. But, um, but yeah, man, I mean, there's like things like how to buy GME, which is GameStop, above broker limits. I mean, they're like telling you how to do shit. Which how is like, but they're saying like, this is illegal. They're trying to beat us. They're, the, they're trying to, to um, bully the rich people. But I'm like, you guys do insider trading all the fucking time. Like, look at the two politi- politicians in Georgia. You know? Like they they were told like about COVID before all the lockdowns and everything happened. Yeah. And they sold a bunch of stock, bought a bunch of stock in a company that makes fucking body bags. You know, and and they're like fucking millionaires now. You know, I mean, they're millionaires before. They got this millions and millions more now. So I was like, how is that okay? You have insider information and you're making moves before it goes public. So you're able to buy and sell high and low. I'm like that's fucked up you know but they did it no big deal you know because yeah they're politicians they're rich white people you know and now you have you know poor people <clears throat> uh i think she did what's that yeah I, I'm, I'm pretty that sounds familiar unless there's a unless i misspelled her name wrong oh my god one, I'm looking at this one person has a uh, hundred shares of GME. Oh wow, thirty-two thousand dollars, and it says because uh, we're not fucking selling. <laughs> and the and the big thing is uh, uh, the rocket. The big thing is like we're gonna shoot this this fucking stock to the rocket it to the moon. So you it, so you see a lot of rockets and moon references and stuff like that. Too. <laughs> uh, statistics. Uh, I pictured Dick from Fun with Dick and Jane and GameStop plummeting. I mean, games out. It's gonna come down eventually. Yeah, I'm surprised it's still out there. It lasted this long. <laughs> They're holding it, dude. If the longer they hold it and keep buying and not sell to diminish the value, it might go up a little bit more. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hold forever. No, sure. I not. mean, nothing ever does. But you know, they want to ring out as much of these billionaires as possible. So yeah. the guy has how much? Thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand, and he's he's saying it goes. We're not fucking selling. That was the the quote. A bunch wonder, of rocket ships. 
I wonder how much he bought those stocks for. Uh, and and I would fucking sell half, cash out half. Because you never know, by tomorrow it might be yeah. three dollars and twenty cents per per oh, share. A lot of these people though, it's 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 really it's it's really interesting. Cause I would probably do the same. But it's really interesting because these people are like just normal people and they're going so hard with this fucking meme that somebody said they memed it into existence which is bonkers because that's exactly what happened they made some memes and then they're fucking have you know hundreds of thousands of dollars you know now right because you can only go so far <clears throat> from the average person no one's gonna you know get paid after busting her ass for two weeks and buy two shares at four hundred dollars each and that, that's their check. Now, if it was four hundred dollars worth of shares, like two dollars each, that's a whole different story. So this is why I'm saying, and I can see your point too. It's not going to reach a thousand because at one no point, way. one share is going to be nine hundred dollars, one thousand dollars. Okay, that's great. Well, however, from five to a thousand mark, you're going to need people with deep pockets. That you know, you reached out to, that they feel what you feel, and go ahead and buy, because you can only go so far from the average person from two to maybe three hundred dollars, yeah. maybe three hundred. I'm I'm more like it's penny stock. This thing is a penny stock. Yeah, yeah. So I I, I will not pass purchasing stock from of uh twenty five dollars. And that's just me. That's my personal yeah, thing. Because that's how much you're willing to lose. Yes, exactly. Which is what they you tell know? you. <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah. Now, the, the, the downfall is when that gentleman, that guy, 32 grand, that's congrats, man. Hey, that's awesome. And that's for everybody else who fucking ended up buying $2 and now they have a bunch of money. That's great. <sighs> Don't expect to reach 1000 because... Unless you know people with deep ass pockets that are willing to go, yeah, the the, the stock is seven fifty each. We got to reach a thousand. Okay, yeah, sure, I'm gonna buy ten, twenty. No, man, no, no. but <laughs> now seventy five grand. But now you ha you do have rich people because now you have like e people like Elon Musk, who retweeted about this and was and was getting it. He was he he helped. Helped it kind of get big too. He has like forty something million people on Twitter, and he he reposted a bunch of the the memes and things that they're doing on this Reddit mm -hmm. last week. You know, I would say last week, two weeks ago, stuff like that. And he, he he's putting a bunch of money in GameStop. You know, there's a bunch of like semi rich people on YouTube and stuff like that that are putting into it because it's like they're like, yeah, fuck the rich, like let's fuck them over. You know, like. <coughs> You know, like at this point, they already lost seven, seven. What was it? Seventy billion dollars. Yeah. All these companies, all these hedge funds. That's insane. That's Sorry. insane. You know, and I think that it, they did it. They did this so far, and now they're saying hold the line. That's the big thing. On Twitter, it was it was like um, number three, four trending. It was like hold the line. You know, do not sell. That was like trending. You know, and people are like, don't fucking sell. Don't fucking sell. Um, yeah. Wanda Vision. <laughs> yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting the next couple of days. AMC. I'm really, really gonna be curious to see what happens next week because I bought a couple of stocks, all right, for eight, like eight bucks. If it fucking goes to like three hundred dollars, there's a good chance I'll just fucking sell it because I need the money. <laughs> yeah. You know, and yeah. I, I get hold the line and stuff like that. Maybe I won't sell all of it, but fuck, man, I can really I use a couple thousand right someone... now. If someone's able to replenish at the highest point when I started losing. But if anybody's willing to do that, great. I'm holding it. But if you're not, then guess what? <laughs> I got a family. Yeah. See you later. I'm jumping shit. Yeah. It's like real life game, a deal, no deal. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah. far are you going to go before you sell? Yeah. You know, yeah. and at AMC, I think that's a great investment. If you can't afford it, shit, I'm actually, as we speak, contemplating purchasing because... Pretty soon the vaccine is going to be out. The second one's going to be out. John, well, there's already three every, out. Every, right, but everyone's Johnson gonna Johnson have it. is uh, going to come out with theirs uh, next week, and theirs is really fucking good. One shot, no deep freezer, all that stuff. Yeah, eighty five percent. I'm, I'm I mean, not gonna. 
But I get what yeah, you're saying. I don't, I don't know. But either way, AMC is going to reopen soon. Uh, and when they do, stocks are going to go up again. Yeah. Everything's going to go up again. Yeah. AMC so, is definitely the one to put in. Even before, like, all this crazy stuff. Yeah. You know. But, but yeah, man. Um, uh, yeah, man. Let's, let's talk about WandaVision a little bit. Yeah. So, so, I only watched the first two episodes. Okay. So, we'll keep it I to have, that. Well, no, I mean, I'm not... I'm not, it's not pulling me in. I'm not interested as much. I think they overhyped it with the commercials. Um, you know, the, the little Today's teasers. episode, episode four, will change your views on it. Okay, so let me ask you this. As far as I remember, episode one and two, it's just, it didn't correlate. It didn't go, it changed rhythm, changed... Years. Scenery. Yeah, it's 50s, yeah, years, 60s, but, episode but 3s, a, the 70s. Right. It's a, just a new episode. Um, like, I don't know. Okay, like Friends. Mm. Whatever happened to season, I don't know, five, they bring back in season six or seven because it all, it's all one chain. Yeah. You know? And then there's, um, I don't know, another sitcom or show. It's individual. It's a beginning and that's it for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever it is. Beginning and that's it. Like The Simpsons. Beginning and the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every episode is its own story. Correct. So I see it as WandaVision. It's the beginning and that's it. Mm. I don't. I don't remember ever correlating like episode one and two and three and four all together. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, because things things do. Things one and two is really one episode which you know i guess i don't know why they did it but that's just basically one long episode i think they split it because it splits between the 50s and the 60s i think that's the only reason why they made it two episodes otherwise it's one long episode and they even released it on the same day you know right right. episode three adds more things and then episode four is where you see you start to see the whole picture you're like oh and the way episode four started really i won't say it got me but it was like it it makes you think of previous movies and it's just not like it's just not like a happy ending like oh that happened oh now everything's fine again you're like no there's consequences and there's real world i don't say real world you know real world consequences to actions you know Right. And and it's like and you get to see things like you know like certain like I'm like oh and then everything kind of started playing out it was, was 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 pretty good but also like I remember reading about it and somebody who had watched the whole thing already because they got the early viewing they're like the first couple episodes are setting up everything it's like here's this world that they're living in and it's like this sitcom perfect you know american white fence world that we knew back then right you know and it sets everything up for like later you know and i think i told you earlier there's so many so many fucking people on facebook and on reddit on instagram that are trashing this show before this week they're like this show fucking stupid it's stupid it's just gonna be this i don't want to see this this is not this is not mcu it's starting to change it episode four yeah episode four really i mean i i liked it because i knew it was going to be weird it was going to be a weird show and they said that from the beginning you know i mean you got two weird fucking characters you got a guy you know who you saw naked as soon as he was born you know he had no pee pee so i was like how are they getting down (laughs) you know and then a a witch you know (laughs) like right <laughs> I don't you know, know, so man. they're weird characters, you know. I mean, maybe he just fizzing yeah, haters. Out there's a lot spot, of haters, I guess. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, he rescued that dude from choking. Yeah, you know, he went but in, even like, those... yeah, yeah. But even like, you look at that, and I watched that episode again, and um, um, I can't think of her name. The girl who played uh from that '70s show, the mom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what her, her real name is, but she was saying, "Stop it." Yeah, and at first she was like laughing, but then at the end, it was like she was like, "Oh my, like, stop it, stop it!" But she was like having that laugh kind of at the end, yeah, and she was really looking aggressive. at Wanda, telling Wanda to stop it, 
stop and i was like i'm like oh shit what the fuck yeah. i was like what's going on you know like it was like telling her husband to stop because he kept questioning to hey stop the choking no i know i think she was telling wanda to stop killing her husband well wasn't he choking on something yeah but but i, I watched it again and it's because he choked on like a, a food or something like that right and i watched it again it was like he started choking as he started like he's like getting aggressive right and then if you watch wanda she kind of does a little twitch and he starts choking so you're like wait is he choking on the food or is he choking because she made him choke because she didn't want to answer those questions because then then what's her name the the old lady wife is like like telling him to stop it but as he's choking she's still stopping she's looking at wanda like stop it stop it stop it mm -hmm. like i'm like damn that went from like funny haha -ha, to like funny scary. hey oh, shit. can you not <laughs> fucking kill my my husband <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's how I saw it. And but that's what it gets for being fucking nosy. Yeah, I know. Um <laughs> But it's 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 really I, I enjoyed it because I'm like it's so weird, it's so different. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? You know, that was my whole thing. I'm like, what are they doing with this? I d I don't get it, you know? Who like who's behind it? What's going on? There's so many questions that I feel that they're 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 making the people ask, you know? You know, it's like how can <laughs> vision? Well, I don't think you saw that. What did you see? The magic show. Okay, that's in episode three. Then. Nope. That's in episode three. Oh, I saw a little bit of it. There, it was in color. I think. Uh, it ends. Episode three ends in color. Oh, okay, then no. It, and it gets ready for the next. For the seventies, so like um. Mm -hmm. What does that happen? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it like gets it ready for like uh, the Partridge Family, Brady Bunch kind of era of sitcoms. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, okay. yeah. I, I just got to get into it again. <laughs> yeah, episode four, though, the one that came out today was, that was good. That was really good. You know, you got to start to see things. And now I'm I'm, re I'm really curious. I'm like, fuck, come on, really? I, I want it all right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right I, now. I have so many questions, and I want I want answered. And, I, and fucking Disney's really good at, at that. Um, but yeah, so well, speaking of MCU, is um, freaking what's that called? Black Widow. They're they're pushing. What well, Martin said, I think there's going to be all pieces of one big ass puzzle at the end, like a movie vintage vantage point yeah that's all it is you know the first three episodes or four episodes whatever um the first episodes are going to be like the beginning you know then you have the episodes in the middle that are gonna like set up the big problem and then the last few episodes are going to solve that problem that are going to mm -hmm. lead into whatever movie they're going to fucking do i think it was dr strange or whatever yeah because she's in dr strange they already announced that so Oh, it's gonna huh. be like, interesting but um well the big one they're talking about now is uh um black widow so now they're saying you good <laughs> yeah i'm here <laughs> uh, um that a uh, black widow is probably most likely gonna come out on disney plus sooner than later they're saying may 7th is what the leaks are may so, 7th May seventh, it'll be in theaters and on HBO on HBO. That's all HBO. Um, and on Disney Plus because yeah. what they were saying because like HBO, I know we're gonna get into that in a second. Um, is HBO is uh, um, releasing all their Warner Brothers stuff, you know, so Dune, yeah. Godzilla, all that shit, and they're doing that's cool. But Marvel, they can't release a movie until the previous movie has been released because everything builds on top of each other yeah so it's like you can't release all these movies that you have planned until you release black widow yeah you know? so and, and that was, one year dude this was wow. supposed to come out last year in may yeah last may yeah so <laughs> but i mean everything kind of got postponed anyway so not too big but i mean how long i mean all these other companies are postponing until uh the 007 movie that was supposed yeah. to come out fucking they're saying i think august now august or september of 2021 that's fine 
<laughs> Sean I mean, Connery's gone. That that's the only 007 I like. Uh, yeah. He was that. This one. Charles Bronson. This guy. Okay. Nah, he wasn't. He was, you don't like him? I didn't care for him. This guy he's is really good. More classy and smooth. I like this guy because he's kind of like old, rugged, beat up James Bond, who's like at the end of his career, but still all badass. He reminds me of Jason Statham. I know him. With the fights. I guess, yeah, with the fighting. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, it would be interesting. I learned about the HBO releasing movies at the same time. HBO Max. HBO Max, yeah. And one of them is Godzilla vs. King Kong. Yep. They just uh, did the trailer the other day. I saw that in the very beginning when the lady is going down the stairs. If you look behind her, it looked like uh, Mech, Mega Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. There's another part too. There's a guy in front of like a big screen. And if you look at it, it looks like there's a blueprint for like Mecha Godzilla on the screen behind him. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's right. I mean, I'll see why not. That'd be fucking awesome, man. Like, how, man? Because I like Godzilla. I saw the movie Godzilla. It was great. I really enjoyed King Kong. Yeah. I King really Kong. enjoyed it. That was a great, great movie. Um, but yeah, now those two guys are going to fucking fight each other. And, and, God, like, and King Kong has some fucking like big axe that looks sick. He has an axe? <laughs> yeah, the, in the trailer, he's like coming down like Thor style with the fucking axe. And Godzilla's <laughs> shooting his laser beam through his mouth and is like hitting the axe. And I was like, oh man, this is going to be. It's going to have this. Uh, he's going to aim for the head or hit yeah, the I chest? Know. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A remake of uh, Civil War? Yeah. I'm sorry, not Civil War. The, uh, the, uh, Infinity War. Infinity, yeah, Infinity War. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty. But it's, it's cool. It's weird because fucking Godzilla spits out <laughs> radiation. Yeah, it's like <laughs> like it looks like monkeys and li- and <laughs> lizards. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he he shoots radiation, hot yeah. fire, radi- radiated fire from his mouth. It, is, it looks like a, like lasers in the new ones. It does. Yeah. I'm like, all right, so the monkey has a fur. With skin, yeah. this guy has like he can shoot from like fucking miles away. How can you beat Godzilla? Well, I think that's why they probably gave him that axe to kind of to balance it out. It's like, all right, cool, you're you're a monkey, so you can use tools. So here's a big fucking axe hammer thing. You know, right. go beat the fuck out of him. Godzilla, hands down. I don't know. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. It, there's already so many theories that like that's not the real Godzilla. That that's Mecha Godzilla in like disguise, so they made a fake skin. I don't know, man. It looks really fucking good. Someone <laughs> has too much time to make <sighs> fucking fake skin on a metal robot a metal Godzilla. Robot. Yeah, but yeah, but the big thing is yeah, they sell the the you know up top, like you said, when she's going down the stairs. It was like, oh, did King Kong already beat off the fake skin, and now it's just the Mecha? Yeah. Because you you think you seem flying in the air, something like that. I don't know. It's, I, that monster, King of Monsters, or whatever the fuck the last one Godzilla one was, where he fought yeah. like Mothra and Hydra and all those shit. Dude, the story was bleh, but the just the action and the graphics were were. Yeah, I thought on. Mothra was gonna have a bigger part, but it was more of a big letdown because Kinda. Mothra was like the shit. And back in the old days. Yeah. Mothra was like a good guy in this one, wasn't he? Like, yeah. 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 It was like the healer, like, you know, um, like, yeah, like through his like spores or some shit. Yeah. It, it was someone with it that was like angelic. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was like the shit. And in, in the old school, I, I remember seeing this that Mothra was the shit. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, next thing you know, like, Came out of the cocoon, came out and poof, <laughs> just <went. laughs> dust. <laughs> Thanos, you know, finger snapped and shit. Yeah. But there's also one more. It was a, a turtle. He was out there in old school. So they're they're yeah. gonna have to make a, one more about that one. Right, so said, uh, Godzilla beat Mecha Godzilla, Gigan, Rodin, Mothra, Manila, Man- Manila. I don't know. Yeah. 
uh, look, man, this dude beat up the tar out of them and then <laughs> line with them because he is the ship. Yeah, I mean, that's why he took over. He beat, well, he beat the Hydra guy, right? The Hydra, because he was the original king. You know, I shit on him. <laughs> king we'll see, man. <laughs> shit up. We'll see. He's got, he's got, he's got his little hammer. Yeah, that works yeah, out. Little fucking Thor hammer. <laughs> There's so, they, dude, the fucking memes so far are, they're so good, man. They're so good. There's like, you know, because they're, they're fighting and it says like, he goes, it says something like, if both if they if they become friends because both of their mom is named Martha, <laughs> you know, it was like you know saying stupid shit and uh, then it cuts in like when King, like a Kong and Godzilla are like gonna face each other and then it splices in old footage of like King Kong with a tree jamming it down like Godzilla's mouth <laughs> and it's just like old shitty like costumes. Oh that's man, funny. like the that's memes so the memes are are. Are, are too good, man, with that one. <laughs> so that's gonna speaking, be... of, speaking of memes, I saw what a, a really good meme on the Bernie Sanders thing. Oh, yeah. So, you know the scene from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Which one? When they're in the art museum. Mm-hmm. And then there's Cameron looking at the painting. Right? And they, they close up of him, close up the painting, close him painting, him painting, whatever. Mm-hmm. So they did the same thing. But in that painting, there was Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> so he calls up to Cameron, to Bernie, to Cameron, Bernie, Cameron, Bernie. I'm <laughs> like, that's funny. I love yeah. that. So they took that that piece of that movie when they were in there. So Ferris Willis making out with his girlfriend in front of the, the glass and whatever. Mm. That whole section, they, they took that little piece out and they just added Bernie in it. And they played it. Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> That is awesome. I love that. They're, they're doing some good, good memes. There, there's a bunch of ones that are fake Bernie memes. So they'll put a picture of Waldo, like you know, like where's Waldo kind of thing, <laughs> and they just, that's all they do. And then you read the comments, they're like, it says something like, "I just spent 20 minutes looking for Bernie, and he's not fucking here." <laughs> you know? And it's just like that's the thing is like now every picture they're like they're like where's Bernie, <laughs> you know? It's yeah. like so now that's like a thing too. It's like yeah, him I, not I being in the one. picture. I saw him on one, and then I saw a different picture, and like, oh, I'm not gonna go for it. Yeah, he's pretty good, man. That was, that's a pretty good meme. Oh man, anything else? I mean, we've been going for about an hour now. Um, no. Um, I was trying to look up Cubs news. Um, as far as I heard, everyone's just about gone. Yeah. So. I think uh, Javi Baez might leave later this year. Chris Bryant's pretty much going to be gone. Uh, wasn't he's Contreras, he's going to be gone. So they're just redoing everything. They're getting fucking David Ross um, nothing. You know? Really sucks. He's like, Rizzo, Rizzo's like the only guy who's going to stay there. Yeah. But she's... He's getting up there in age. Who Rizzo? Rizzo. He was, he was there before the rebuild. Yeah. During the rebuild, during the championship, and now now, so he's probably gonna probably retire there. I don't see him yeah. may, maybe going somewhere else, but we'll see. Yeah, it's. I just like that they brought in what's his name? Um, um, the coach. You just said his name. David Ross. David Ross. They're like, oh yeah, because you have this uh, connection with all these people because you guys won it all. <laughs> they get rid of everybody. So it was like he's not gonna have a connection with anybody anymore. That was the whole point of it. So mm-hmm. I think it'd be interesting. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get rid of him in a few in a few years anyway. Who Ross? Yeah, unless unless he does something really great, which I don't see him doing. But mm. Yeah. Anthony <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's that's all, man. Yeah, they got the NBA going, and they're having a lot of COVID issues. No surprise. Oh, the one thing I did want to talk about real quick was Miami Heat are going to have COVID sniffing dogs. Oh yeah, <laughs> which I thought yeah. was funny as shit. I'm like, what? Yeah, the fucking poor dogs. I mean. 
is Peter stepping in on this or what? I don't know. Because also, like, they, 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 they get attracted, can't they? I think. Last I read is that they I can't get was. sick from it. Well, because they initially they thought they could get it, but then I the last time I read, it's been a while, like a, like almost a year now, um, that they 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 can spread it, but they can't like get sick from it. So they're basically carriers. But I don't know if that's true because, like I said, I haven't read it since, you know. You know, they were freaking killing their dog, their pets in China because they thought it was spreading it. Well, they need a fucking compound chicken. <laughs> so. <laughs> we're not yeah, racist. I mean, <laughs> they do eat. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man, I mean, that's kind of, that, that was kind of crazy. I was like, hmm. like, you know, it's a respiratory disease and you want dogs to sniff a <laughs> respiratory disease on people. <laughs> Yep. Uh, Excuse me, ma'am. Can you just lean over? You need to smell your breath. Well, now there's that uh, <laughs> China saying they have a, a new test that's better, and oh. they check your butthole. <laughs> so they swab your butthole or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's been a bunch of memes of people like with their asses hanging out. They're like, yeah. quick, test me. Yeah, quick test me. Yeah. Hey, Doc, what's the result? I don't know, man. It's fucking stinks, so. though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this bitch. Man. Yeah, right. I didn't go to eight years of school for this. Fuck this. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, um, so, yeah, so I see you Sunday, Martin. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, a bunch of dots. Dude, I'm already like, I don't know. You can see, can you can see it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I've been eight. drinking. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Right, I'm, right. I'm like, I like, I told you guys, I'm warming up. I gotta build the immune system. Yeah. I got not that much left. Dude, that's almost half. <laughs> Jeez. So yeah. Um, yeah I, got... I don't know. Anything else? I think we should be. Uh, I think down. that's it. I'm 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 finique. Um I gotta go to bed soon because I gotta wake up early tomorrow. So longer. I only want to do an hour and we're going on an hour and no, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um but yeah, thank you guys for watching oh I'm Black and Fredo. Black and <laughs> for watching uh today's episode episode 52 of did we just become best friends uh don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at did we just become best friends podcast or dwjbbf podcast uh you can always call or text us 312-834-7048 and, or an alternative uh, number 8765309 yeah don't call that one <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> yeah because when we try it it's disconnected um, but yeah, if you leave a good enough message, we'll probably put you on the podcast. And don't forget, we're everywhere Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all that good stuff everywhere you hear audio podcasts. And we're also on Twitch and YouTube. And if you want to watch us live, hit those bell notifications. Otherwise, you can always check out our VODs afterward. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> I'll see you guys Sunday for the morning spike where we talk about football. Can't wait. It's going to be a good episode, guys. See you soon.